Hey folks, this is Vincent Arley with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play Cell Swords. This is a game for two players, and the average play time is roughly 15 minutes. There's no age limit on the box. If I had to guesstimate, I would say ages 12 and up. Maybe gifted 8 or 10 year old could play this as well. So, um, what are you doing in this game? Well, basically it's a card drafting slash card laying game and you're going to be forming a 5x5 five five grid in order to try and get as many cards into your color as possible. You'll notice that these cards have different numbers on each of their sides. So when you lay down a card, you're trying to get it so the numbers that border your opponent are higher. So if I had, let's say if I had an opponent's card, let's say I was red and I put this down adjacent to this like this. This 5 is higher than the 1, so I would be able to flip this over to my side. And I'm trying to do that as much as possible because at the end of every round, uh, players score points based on how many cards of their color they have in each row and each column that are currently on the board. It's kind of hard to explain without visualizing it. So at the very beginning of the game, what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle this deck of cards. There's quite a number of them here, and there's, they're double-sided. One side's blue, the other side's red, sort of like in Othello. And you've also got these base tiles, which I'll get to in a minute. There's a couple of these. There's the standard base one, and then there's a couple, there's three of them that have special abilities should you want to spice up the game a little bit. So you're going to shuffle this deck of cards, and you're going to deal 12. doesn't matter what color, I just chose red. Um, you're going to deal out 12, and then one player is going to start randomly and they'll draft one, then the other player will draft one, then we'll just keep drafting back and forth until we have six cards in our hand. Once we do that, starting with the starting player, we'll start laying down cards, and they have to be adjacent to each other. Now, at that point in time, we're going to have the base tile out on the board. And the dimensions of the grid cannot be greater than 5x5. Five five. So if you've already got five in a row like this, you cannot add a sixth one to either side. You have to maintain that 5x5. Five five. This doesn't necessarily have to be the center of that 5x5 five five grid. Um, it could be in the bottom right hand corner. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got a 5x5 five five grid visualized you know, on the table, then you're fine. So we're going to keep laying cards down back and forth until we've gotten rid of all of our cards. At that point in time, it won't be a 5x5 five five grid. It will look something like this. Well, the manual is much easier to visualize this way. So you may have a situation where you end the round this way. And the example of scoring is, again, you earn so many points based on the number of cards of your color that you have in each row and each column. So if you take a look over here, the number of tiles in a row or column of your color, if you have zero, then you get zero points. If you have one, as is the case with this red one here, this row, you get zero points. Um, if you have two or three, you get more points. So if, as an example here, you've got three red in this row right here, so uh, red would earn two points. So you're, again, you're going to look at each row and each column to see how many points each player would earn. And then you start round two. You draft 12 more cards. Each player gets six, and you continuously add to the existing grid until you have a five by five. Um, once you do that, you're going to score a second time, and then whoever has the most points wins. Now, that sounds easy, but there are a ton of different characters and abilities. So this is where it's going to slow us down a bit. Um, unless you know these cards in and out, uh, you may want to refer this as much as possible. Because each of these cards has an ability on the very bottom. When you lay down a card, first you take a look at their ability and then you compare the numbers. Uh, some, some of these cards let you move them around, other ones do different things. Some are optional, some are mandatory actions, some are continuous, so you have to keep track of stuff that's already out on the table. And then there's end of round cards. So. Bear with us. Um, I've reviewed this on my website a couple of years ago, but I haven't touched it since, so we're probably going to make a mistake or two. All right, so would you like to go first? And I'll leave it on this side so we can easily reference abilities as they come up. Okay. So go ahead and uh, take a look at the abilities. Um, again, you just I dealt them at random. She hasn't looked at these. I haven't looked at these. Um, so if there's ones that you like... I'll just choose by art. <laughs> okay, well, okay, fine then. I don't know the strategy for this game, so I might as well. I don't know either. I don't want to take too long reading either, so whatever. All right, All right. so she, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can sort of 
I like her outfit. That's you like the outfit. Let me see this oh, one. Oh, wait, are we choosing if we're red or blue? Uh, well, all right, what color would you like to be, red or blue? It doesn't matter. Red, because you like blue. I like best. blue. All right, so you're red, I'm blue. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be looking at that side. And this basically says, um, the ability on this one is, may move to an adjacent space if placed next to. So if I were to place a card next to this card, mm -hmm. then she has the option to move it somewhere. Oh, cool. Um, again, and the, the actions on the cards are a brief summary. Mm -hmm. They're explained more in the manual. Uh, should we run into any issues? So I'm going to take a look at these. Um, um, and when laying down cards, by the way, they can be in any rotation. Mm -hmm. you, it, they can be sideways. Um, mm -hmm. His monocle's cool. <laughs> the paladin. Um, all numbers on adjacent tiles are increased by one. Wow, so I'm going to go ahead and take that one. That's a really good one. I like this person's monocle. You like the monocle. You're going to choose them based on their art. That's awesome. I, I'm surprised you haven't grabbed the fairy yet. Her, uh, her numbers are low, though, I'm just I, saying. I want to, but I hate the color yellow. <laughs> I see. And I, I, I kind of like the bird. What's Rock, is it? What is his yes. name? What is the girl? Um, does not compare numbers. May flip any one enemy tile. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so bird and pink girl. <laughs> All right. Um... Does not compare numbers, flip all adjacent tiles. Oh, he has nice hair. <laughs> Simon, he has nice hair. All right, I'll take him. All right. Um, all right, see the monocle dude or hat. Monocle dude or hat. Or dragon. Roar, he'll match my bird. <laughs> Going with the wing stuff. <laughs> What's his ability? May move all adjacent tiles one space clockwise. Yeah, um... So, how would that work? Does it say move or rotate? It says move. Okay, um, may move all adjacent tiles one space clockwise. So I'm thinking... this way? Like... But, if it was the five... It was the, if it was Let me the take a look. Uh, the number is 35. So I'm gonna take a look at 35 in the rule book real quick. Uh, this is optional, terrorize. Um, when you play dragon, all tiles adjacent to dragon are moved clockwise into a new space, maintaining orientation. Oh, interesting. So I'm thinking up goes here, this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here, regardless of diagonals. Oh, really? That's what I'm thinking. It says all tiles adjacent move clockwise. Not Diagonally is not adjacent. Oh, I see. So I'm see. thinking oh, this goes here, like a clock. These go oh, here, that goes here. I'm, you know what? Whatever. Yolo. But it, again, if we mess it up, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. You know? YOLO. YOLO. I have the two winged creatures. Mm hmm. May switch places with an adjacent tile. Um, this is going to have some serious chaining, isn't it? Yeah, there's going to be some chaining involved. I kind of like the squire. Mm. Um. May choose an ally tile, move it next to any tile. I need some better numbers, though. Um, mm -hmm. The assassin may switch places with an adjacent enemy tile. Um, let's see. I mean, he's got a high number on the right there, eight. That's, that's pretty nasty. May switch places with an adjacent enemy tile. But I kind of need... All right, I'm going to take the duelist, I think. The duelist says, um, may rotate adjacent tiles once in any direction. Mm -hmm. I gotta wonder, can I rotate just one or two, or do I have to rotate all of them? Again, that's, that's, that's <laughs> number 38. Um, that's up here. When you play duelist, here we go. When you play duelist, rotate all adjacent tiles to duelist 90 degrees, either all clockwise or all, so it's all of them. I can't just choose one that's adjacent, I have to, I have to rotate all of them. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you're rotating all adjacent tiles? Yes, all adjacent tiles. Sort of like your dragon, only I'm keeping them there, but rotating them clockwise. I see. That's it's kind of like the dragon that you have, except yeah. instead of moving, I rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I like his hair. Jesus. You like his hair. Okay. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Um, now, here's the thing for this one. All right, what number is this? This is uh, Kadath, okay? That is, yeah, number 50. May choose adjacent space, opponent place. So basically... So you must... So, so basically, when you place this guy, you're going to tell me where I'm going next. Yeah. You know what? His hair's pink. 
I'm going to go for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the squire. Mm -hmm. um, may switch places with an adjacent tile. Keep cool. I'm going for the fairy now. The fairy? Definitely. All right. So we've got these guys left to draft. Um, out of all of them, may compare numbers with the first two tiles in one direction. Ooh, I like that. Um, I'm going to take him. Mm -hmm. Um, I like his hat. All right, well, I guess I have the assassin. You choose an ally tile, move it next to any tile. All right, so now we have the... We have our cards. These basically go into our hand now. So we have a hand of six cards. And as the first player, you get to go first. Now here, we're going to put the... We're going to put this in the center, but this doesn't necessarily have to be the center. This is the base. Again, if you guys want to spice up the game, you can add other tiles, like one round. Play one of the two top tiles on your turn. Um, each player removes three tiles on the board after round one. Uh, flipping via number comparing causes tile chaining. So that's one rule. Whenever you're flipping cards over and comparing numbers, those cards' abilities don't activate normally. But with this base, it does. So, yeah. It, there's, this is chaos right here. <laughs> this, this particular base. So Which one are you looking up? Are they... Are they... Um, are they hidden? Is it hidden? It's put it in your hand. Yeah, you're going to put it in your hand. Okay. But we can see the other side, so it's kind of... Yeah, not it's up to... I mean, well, you just do something like this. Yeah, you can do... I don't care. I, I, again, it doesn't I, matter. I'm, I'm not that hardcore. Yeah, me neither. Okay. <laughs> That'll That's be the day. totally not hard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you're ready there. Oh, wait. Am I starting first? Yes, you're first oh, play. Boy. Oh, boy. Okay. I want to zoom in. There is some thunder outside, folks, so if you hear anything, it's just... Um. It's our 3,000 degree weather in Pittsburgh at the moment. And then I'm hoping mm -hmm. the rain cools things down. It's been ridiculous. Um. Oh, this is hard. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Now, obviously, this doesn't. This is neutral. This does not get flipped. This yeah. space. Okay. I guess I'll go. I don't want to go first. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. I'll do this one. Okay. So your dragon is here. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So let's go with. And the abilities take place after. The abilities happen first, and then we compare numbers. I see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paladin here, Sweet. adjacent. Mm -hmm. uh, all numbers on... Well, wait. It's a bad idea then. <laughs> I was hoping to flip it. No, see, you have to observe the effect first, then flip it. Yeah. If, it. In a case of a tie, the defender wins. So this was not a good idea. Let me try something else. Um... Mm, uh, <laughs> All right, I guess we'll go ahead and do uh, the squire. It says may switch places with an adjacent tile, the keyword being may, mm -hmm. and this little symbol here, so it's optional. I'm not gonna bother switching. I'm just gonna put him here. Four is greater than two, mm -hmm. so I flip this over like that. like that. Cool, all right. And it is now your turn. Um, Wait, I forgot what this one was again. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? Um, when a tile is played adjacent to Shaggy Moo Moo. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so I can do this. Okay, so you may move to an adjacent space if placed next to. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Okay. Um, so five is greater than three, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So um, this gets flipped back. Yeah, this gets flipped over. Now, does his ability take effect? No, no? It, there's no chaining like that. Oh, so when unless you, put you down? use that, yeah. When you the only ability that kicks in is the tile or the card that you place. Oh, but that's, that's what I said earlier about this base. Oh. With this base. It does chain. What do you mean? There's an, these bases have like rule breakers on them. Oh, I see. So Which one was that one? This is just a regular, this is the standard. Oh, the no standard. special okay. ability whatsoever. I see, I see. I see. Interesting. Yeah. Um, let's do. Oh, 
don't have a lot of options here. Um, so you're gonna crack. See if you do that. Now, if if it doesn't chain. Now I have a question. Let's say I move something here, right? Uh -huh. And the special ability is that I can move any one of my tiles anywhere. Okay. So if I cho chose to move this here. Now it says may move to an adjacent space, meaning here. Yeah, but here. if I had a tile that says that I can move any one of my allies to okay. anywhere, and if I moved it here, if I moved this one here. You could do that. But. Would that mean that that number is greater and you would have to flip it? Like, does um, the number apply? I, let me check the whole compare numbers part. I don't, again, I consider that chaining, but... For each opponent's tile adjacent to the tile you've just placed, check the two numbers. Um, no, it just says for each opponent's tile adjacent to the tile that you just placed. Okay, so when you're moving stuff around, I don't. It says only the tile that you just placed. I see. Okay, interesting. But again, I don't know. It's <laughs> I mean, fine. yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so like, I'm kind of stuck here because she can move after I put something next to this. So, all right, I'm gonna do. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, may rotate adjacent tiles once in any direction, but um, I'm not going to bother doing that. I can move my thing, right? Yeah, now this says may move to an adjacent space if placed next to. So you can move that here or here, whatever one you want. Oh, I wouldn't be able to move it like adjacent to you there? And that's not an adjacent space. Adjacent to this here. Adjacent is here, 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 or here. So oh. you would move them here or move or move sector here or here. Well, it says adjacent. It says I can move sector to an adjacent open space next to a tile. Right, adjacent space meaning up, down, left, or right. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, not I thought the, it was next to any tile though, like not just next to my own. Then tile. it wouldn't be adjacent. I thought well, it was like, adjacent. Alright, hold on. Let me read it. Let me read it. Sorry. This is what I said at the beginning of the video, folks. A video, these abilities are going to... 42? When a tile is placed adjacent to Shekther, <laughs> you may move Shekther to an adjacent open space next to a tile. That means next to an adjacent... Uh, <laughs> to an adjacent open space. Yes. Next, but then it, it says... Meaning, next. meaning, if, I, if you were here, uh -huh. you could not do this because there are no adjacent tiles. That's what that means. It's saying you can move it to an adjacent open space so as long as there is, there's legal placement I to see. do that. That's what that means. I see. Uh, it was over here. Okay, yeah, all right, there you go. <laughs> um, um, okay, dang. Yeah, that got me all kind of messed up. I thought I would be able to move it here. No, that's not, that's, that's not, no. <laughs> Next to an open okay. adjacent space. Okay, I see. Well, then in that case, I'll just do... Had I not been here, this. you would not be able to do this. Yeah, yeah, it stinks. I don't like that position, but... All right, well, comparing numbers on the tile <laughs> I just placed, there's nothing to compare. I see. So now it is your turn. I wonder if that's legal. If I can do that, even though it leaves you by itself, I wonder if that's even legal. Doesn't seem like uh, I think it's okay because on the uh, on the scoring example, there were some open spaces there. I see. Um, and if it's not legal, again, this is for fun. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'll do. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'll do this one. No, no, I don't. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll do... Oh. <laughs> um, oof, that's rough. I don't, I don't know, I mean... 
I know. There's only so many cards that we have. It's tough. All right, so I guess I'll do this one. The fairy. And my ability is... When numbers are compared against fairy, they get minus two. So this would be a one. Okay. So this would flip over. I see. Good. Interesting. All right. Um, in that case... And again, this doesn't have to be the center. I'm going to go ahead and play... Um, I'm going to do this, actually. I'm going to move these up because I want to play something down there. Ah, interesting. I'm going to play this one. Uh-huh. Ooh. Uh, may compare numbers with the first two tiles in one direction. So, oh. two tiles. So, seven is greater than three and seven is greater than two. Oh, I thought it would add. <laughs> wow, that's really good. I don't have a card like that. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm, interesting. Interesting. So, okay. So, what if I do this? Okay. And it says, may choose an ally tile, move it next to any tile. Okay. So, if you put that there, go ahead and move something. What if I move this? Here? Now remember, when comparing numbers, it's only on the, the tile that you just placed. Oh, dang. A according to the rule book. I mean, I could be wrong, but the way I was reading that... Yeah. Alright, so I guess it wouldn't matter anyways. For each opponent's tile adjacent to the tile you have just placed, check the two numbers that are touching each other. It doesn't say anything about... And writer, I mean, whether we get that r rule wrong or not, at least we're being consistent about it. Yeah, actually, so. let me take that back. Let me take that back. Mm -hmm. I want to do this person. This one. Okay. Uh, may choose adjacent space opponent places there. No. Here? <laughs> okay, so I have to place uh, there. But So I have to place here next turn, um, but your four is greater than my three. Right here. You want it here. I want it here. <laughs> Alright, so four is greater than three, so I have to flip this back over. I see, okay. Alright. Interesting. So I have to place here then. Um, that kind of stinks because I don't have a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, that messed me up. Okay. Um, let's do... I hate to burn this card right now. I really would. All right. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> um, assassin, I have to place it here. Mm -hmm. May switch places with an adjacent mm -hmm. enemy tile. Nice. So, switch places. Okay. Now, compare numbers. Oh. Eight is greater than four, so this flips over to me. Wouldn't this flip over because this one's greater? Don't you have to do all sides? Um, no, because we're only comparing numbers like eight. I'm not attack, like in this case, one is less than three, so this would stay here. You do not counter attack me when I'm placing a tile. Oh, okay, okay. This simply means I cannot flip this, and I cannot flip this, because zero is less than one, mm -hmm. one is less than three. These two stay the same, but eight is greater I than see. four, so I flip this. Okay, interesting. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm. Hmm is right. I guess I'll do... <laughs> Dog. Wow. Um. Oof. 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 Fifteen minutes, my friend. Sorry. Foot. No, no, no. I'm just saying the play time is fifteen minutes. 
with all these abilities, there's no way it's going to, it's yeah. If you knew what you were doing and knew the cards in and out, then maybe 15 minutes, but for new players, realistically, this is like an hour. Yeah. I'll do, um... Um, okay, I guess I'll do this one. No, no, I don't. No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> okay. No, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so ability is... Uh, wait. Or, or not. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Take your time. Okay, so if I did... Oh, <laughs> I don't like any of this. The only one that I could possibly do... Okay. May choose an ally tile, move it next to any tile. So what would you want to move first off? Um I don't know. <laughs> um Now this guy, I mean that's kinda of good because you can safeguard a side. Let's say you've got a like you could move a card to safeguard the one. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I so you're safeguarding sides on weak cards by that's what I'm thinking. I might do this. Okay. Kind of like replace the one with the five. Right? I don't understand what you're saying. Like, oh, I'm going to move this so that way you won't have to like attack uh, that and it'll be I, like, I see what you're saying. You're making that I column guess. harder to get. And now we compare numbers. Oh! Yeah, that's fine. Four is greater than one, so we yeah. flip that. I see. Okay. Um... I will hmm. This is kind of crappy. Yeah. Um, out of the light, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no one can see what sorry, you're. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Um, okay, so, how do I safeguard this one? Alright, so I'm going to put this guy here. Okay. And basically now all numbers on adjacent tiles are increased by one. So this is a three, this is a two. But what are you attacking? I'm not attacking anything, I'm just placing this down. Oh, okay. And there's a reason. Okay, so, so there's now a nine, there's a two, okay, I see. I'm 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 beefing up my or trying to interesting. Hmm. Why would you? Hmm. Interesting. I forgot the card that you had. Oh, you had a paladin. That was the Paladin, yeah. Oh, that was the Paladin. Mm -hmm. What was the other one that you got? Oh, this is a memory game now. What was the other one? Tactician? Mm -hmm. No, that's mine. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, anyways. This, this, All right. this card isn't going to do me as much good as I thought it would based on the current layout of the board. I don't know. I guess... I'll just do... Okay, so uh, does not compare numbers. May flip one any uh, any one enemy tile. So, um, which tile would you want to flip? This one. That one. Okay, that's nasty. All right, I'm going to put this last card. Oh, the vampire guy, the shiny butler. Oh, I don't know. Well, here's the thing, like, you've got four in a column, like, you, you've dominated me here with this row in this column, mm -hmm. so I need to figure out how to Would break. You, could you, like, put it here and then try to flip over that one? Well, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to put this here. Mm. Does not compare numbers. Flip any, flip all adjacent tiles. So I'm going to flip this back over. Okay. This breaks up this yeah. and this. 
job. But now, so we, we've established our five by five grid. Mm -hmm. We've got five across, and we're either going to have a fifth one here or here. Because we've got four, one, two, three, four. We're either going to have a fifth one row here or a fifth row up here. Oh, we're doing another round? Yeah, that's, that's what we do. So now we score. Okay. Now we score. Um, if we flip this back over, let's take a look at the chart. That's, yeah, that's what I was looking at earlier. Okay. So we're going to take a look at each row. So in this row, um, we've got one and one. That's zero. That's zero. Yeah, <laughs> so let's do this. We'll start with the rows first. Okay. This row, I get zero points because I've only got one. You've got two, so that's one point. Um, you've got two, I've got two, so that's uh, one point, one point. Uh, this here, I've got two, you've got one, so I get one point. Yeah. Column-wise, I've got two, so that's one point. You've got one, that's zero points. Oh, I see. Um, this two, and that's, so that's one point, one point. Mm -hmm. Um, this here is three, uh... That's just one point, isn't it? No, it's two points. You get two points for that. I thought it was one point per two tiles. No. Look, on the chart, three oh. tiles is two points. I see, I see, sorry. I get zero for that, okay. and then zero for that. So, at the moment, you're beating me by one point. Okay, I see. So now, we draft... We, uh, place... Was it? Twelve cards. So, um, why don't we just, um... I'll we'll just draft like place them. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna put them up here and then. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how I feel about the drafting. Why? I I like the randomness. I wish it was like. Well, there is a tile that lets you do that. I'm gonna move this. <laughs> I mean, like just shuffle and then pass them out like deal a card like. No. That. Well, the one the one base yeah. is you draw two and you pick one. Oh, I see. To play cool. basically, it it bypasses the drafting altogether. Interesting. Oh, I'm totally gonna do it by art again. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to read out what we're picking because I don't think the camera can see any of that. I'll, I'll zoom in as much as I can and I'll push this up a bit. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we'll announce what we're doing. So now I'm first player because you were first player last time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a moment to look at these abilities. Cannot be flipped by any means. Um, when Monk is compared against, he gets. What are you doing? Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, <laughs> Um, so that's defensive, may compare them to any one tile in one direction. Hmm. Okay. Um. Sorry. That's fine. Um. Wow. Them. Exactly two spaces away? <laughs> wow. That's really specific. Yeah. Um, it's, it's basically just um, it's, like if I if I placed yeah. it here, it would compare it here. Yeah. So every other tile. The uh, archer. Mm -hmm. I wonder where's to fall. Uh, funny. <laughs> uh, these these with trip and engineering. I'm sure. May choose any one tile. Move it next to any tile. <laughs> um. Oh, I see flocks. There's so many. Um, thanks. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll take this one. This is Hikaru, which Hikaru Sulu, uh, from Star Trek. It may move terrain tile adjacent to any other tile. So I can move the terrain tile um, after, well, yeah, after placing this. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And now you get to, to go. Mm. I want to see her because of her hair. <laughs> of course you do. But her numbers are really low. Um, it seems like a really good ability gives you low numbers. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. You picking that one? Yeah, what does that mean? May compare numbers with any one tile in one direction. Um, so if you place this here, you can compare this 2 to the 4 or the 2 to the 1. Really? Compare numbers with any one tile in one direction. So you're going to um, choose one direction, compare numbers okay. along that column or row. Cool. I guess. I like your dress. 
You like the dress. <laughs> and um, that's to have a great ability, good numbers, and have great art. <laughs> Alright, this is the Merchant. This is an endgame effect. Plus one point for adjacent enemy tiles at the end of the round. Now here's an interesting one. Adjacent tiles lose their abilities. Correct. But Those are continuous abilities, like the Paladin where all numbers, anything that's continuous, yeah. they lose their abilities. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Which one is? The Monk yeah. is defensive. He gets plus two when being compared against. Oh, wow. That's nasty. Yeah, like that. You're going to choose the Monk, okay? <laughs> So when hers is, let me show it to the camera, when Monk is compared against, he gets plus two. So he, he has normal attack with these numbers, but when he's defending, plus two to all sides. Okay. Um, let me move one adjacent tile to an adjacent space. Um, cannot be flipped by any means. That's kind of nice. It's just guaranteeing that I have a card somewhere. Um... May switch a tile in your hand with mm, adjacent tiles lose their abilities. Mm. Changeling. This tile's numbers become the same as one adjacent tiles. Wow. That's pretty good. That's nasty. Um, <laughs> dog. <laughs> um, Um, I'm going to go with the Seer. Uh, may choose an enemy tile. Move it next to any tile. So I can move tiles around. I took my Seer. <laughs> I took your Seer. Which one is this one? This cannot zero? be flipped by any mean. He is, so he has all zeros, but he can't be flipped. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. So even if you put him like here, for example, he... He just still won't be flipped. Well, yeah, I can't. Yeah. Even if his numbers are like... No, numbers. if I put him here, and then you put a card here to attack him in the future, oh. he does not flip. Oh. I was going to say, like, if I took this and I put him here, does he not get flipped? No. Well, no, no one would flip. Oh, yeah. Normally, no one would flip anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right. Only if I went to attack you, does he not flip. It's crazy. I almost want him now. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> But that's so silly. <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. What's this one? May switch a tile in your hand with one opponent. With it's a one thief. An opponent. Oh, that's good Meaning one. you can take a card of mine. So I can, I, I'll take the thief and you take whatever you... Oh, really? That's what, it's, that, that's what I'm guessing, yeah. Um, that's a nasty card, actually. Yeah, it is. But he's got a six. So. Yeah, that's scary to give you. Can you choose any one tile, move it next to any tile? I don't know. You know what? You know what? Mm-hmm. I will take the what? thief. What? You're going to take the thief? I will take the thief. I will go with... Um... I think I'll go with the archer, mm. which is compares numbers exactly two spaces away instead of directly adjacent. That might come in handy. I don't know. Very situational. Yeah. This tile comes the same as adjacent. I will use this one. Changeling? Yeah. So the changeling, basically the numbers, you pick an adjacent tile and their numbers become this one's. Mm -hmm. I don't like the art. You don't like the art. That's okay. Mm -hmm. um, Tannis, uh, may choose any one tile, move it next to any tile. Um, yeah, I think I'll take that one. There's that. In case you missed. Which one's that? The one that can't be flipped with all well, zeros. Oh, the one that can't be flipped. <laughs> Alright, so between these two... Adjacent tiles lose their abilities. Move one adjacent tile to an adjacent space. Um, 
this is going to be difficult to do with the end of the game coming so close. So... This is, this is rough. Um, I, I'm going to take this one, actually. Mm. This is Adjacent Tiles Lose Their Abilities. I'm not going to be able to play... I mean, this... There, and there's no continuous effects besides the Paladin. Oh, Fairy. When numbers are compared against Fairy, they get minus two. Wow. So... Maybe... Yeah. All right. So, I get to go first. Yep. So, if you ever flip this in the future... Um... Okay. <laughs> so... Let's do... Alright, let's do this one. Move any... T move the terrain tile adjacent to any other tile. So, I'm gonna move that... Here. Okay. Interesting. What does that thing do? Um... Oh, it, it locks. Alright. What do you mean? This is just... Oh. Well, I, I locked this, this row, so now... No Actually, you know what? I'm going to put that here. I see. Okay. In case you try and get a four on me there. Um, I'll put it up there. Okay. Uh, so, let me do this. So, now we've got um, our established... Let's center this in the table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, we have terrible memories. So, we had to... <laughs> <laughs> unload the video and then play it back and this is how it should have been. So I'm gonna put this six here. It says may move terrain tile adjacent to any other tile. So I'm gonna put this um, put this here, I think. And now I flip I'll see if I put that there then I can't flip that later. A little concerned about that. Um, what am I afraid of? You t uh, how about here? Because this one is very easily flipped. So we'll do that. Okay. Um, six compared to four is... Now this paladin says all numbers adjacent to this tile are increased by one. This becomes a five, but my six is still greater than five. Nice. So this still flips. Cool. Okay. So we've got 40 minutes. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm just saying. We've got, but in realistically, that's more like we have yeah. 20. Because this battery goes from like 30 minutes to 5 in 2 seconds. It's pitiful. Yeah. Alright, so what about... Oh. What if I do this? Okay. Um, that is... Actually, maybe not. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do this. Alright. May compare numbers with any one tile in one direction. Oh, dang. One tile. So... Would I be... But it, it says may, so you don't have to do it. Yeah. But if I you did, could You could flip could that. Flip this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what you want to do? Sure, why the heck not. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna move, instead of moving the cards, I'm going to move the camera. So now we've got our five column. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so 
I'm going to do... Hmm. I'm going to put this here. Mm. And this says, may choose any one tile. Actually, hold on. No, I have to do that one then. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So we'll do that one. May choose any one tile, move it next to any tile. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to move this. Um, hold on. Do I really want to do that? Because then you could swoop in with something. And... Well... <sighs> <laughs> Crap! <laughs> ah, all right, hold on, let me think about this. <laughs> it's tough. It is. Um... It's a thinky game. All right, let's do... Do let's see. So this is the five by five grid. Yeah. Would we be able to put anything up here? No, we can't put anything up there. But there, we can still either put something here yeah. or something or over there. Okay. But so I, what is the purpose of this? That's just to filler because mm -hmm. we each have um, oh, okay. so many cards. cards. Right, right. So that the extra one is to fill. That's the last one. Interesting. I hate to burn that now. Um, but I kind of have to. I could do... No, when you put this down... I, I, this was flipped. Oh, uh, okay, I, so I, I, put it down. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, right, right. Um, I chose not to attack this card. Okay. All right. I, I think I will do this. Uh, may choose one tile. Move it to next to any tile. So what would I move? Um, if I were to move something, what would what would be beneficial to me? Um, I'd want to move this one up. Here. And now we compare numbers. Three is greater than two. Mm -hmm. So this flips over to this. Mm. Okay. Um. Out. Okay. So. <laughs> That's funny. That's um, funny. Alright, so what about... What if I did something like... This. Okay, so you'd have to take the numbers of any adjacent tile. That's the changeling. Mm -hmm. so what and because your ability, it's, it increases it? Mm. First, pick pick one. Okay, I'll pick this one. Okay, three, 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 three. Then this says all numbers on adjacent tiles are increased by one. Mm -hmm. So it'd be four, 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 four. I would think so, but th that wouldn't matter because wouldn't, you'd still you'd yeah. still take me here, right? So this flips over. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do. The hmm. 
Alright, I'm going to do... I mean, at this point... Alright, I'm going to put... Adjacent tiles lose their abilities. Mm -hmm. Um... So... Or... I put this down. Um, okay. I think I want the seer, because you might use them. So the seer is move, may choose an enemy tile, move it next to any tile, so I can move things around again. Okay, cool. So I might do... Give you a row advantage there. Um, where would I move this? Ugh. All right, if I moved it up here, that still gives you three across like that. Which is stinky. Um, if I move you here... Alright, I'm going to do that. I'm going to move you here. Okay. Or better yet... Put you there. Um, okay. So, again, let me move the camera over. Can you sit back so the, the light is... Okay. Again, I don't want to move the cards and mess this up. Yeah. All right, so now we compare numbers. Four is greater than two, mm -hmm. so this flips over. I like that. All right, all you. Um, okay, so... Mm. Tough, tough, tough. Yeah. Okay. If I did... What if I did this one? Okay. Uh, may move one adjacent tile to an adjacent space. So you would move one of these two. You may. You would yeah. move one of these. Um, if you wanted to. Or you can leave them there. Up to you. If, you. if you don't use the ability, this one will flip over. Yeah. Um... It'll flip, flip over regardless, right? What do you mean? This one? Unless you move them. May move one adjacent tile. To yeah. Do, oh. do you want to move one of these two? Where would I move it? I don't know. To I wouldn't be... Move one adjacent tile to an adjacent space. Um, I wouldn't be able to. No, you wouldn't be able to. Okay, then never mind. That's a dumb thing. <laughs> um... Adjacent tile to an... Oh, see... Could. No, I couldn't. No, that's stupid. Okay, now forget it. Um, I'll do. Oh, gosh. This is tough. Um, I 
guess I'll do this one. Then. Okay. Um, so when Monk is compared against, he gets plus two. This so, one? right, so three, this flips over and this flips over. You would have, oh, really? I thought you said it only attacks one person. No. It says when the monk is compared against, he gets plus two. You still compare all of them. This three compares against the two, that flips, that four compares oh. against the one, that flips. Yeah, so that was a good move. You flipped two of them. Oh, I thought it was... Okay, never mind. I could have sworn <laughs> okay. you said something like... That was the one... That was this ability. May compare numbers with any one tile in one direction. That was only one tile in one direction. I think you got that ability confused with the general rule, I think. Okay. I, 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 so she does not attack this one. Who doesn't? This girl does not attack that one. It only attacks the two. No, you pick one. You yeah. pick one and I... Yeah. Okay, see. Mm -hmm. Um... I... So weird. Um, alright. I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, so, plus one for adjacent enemy tiles at the end of the round. So, this four beats the one. Mm. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't matter. All, all numbers on adjacent tiles are increased yeah. by one. But it still wouldn't matter. I wouldn't be able to do this. But I can flip this one. Okay. So, nice. there's that. Okay. Um, I will do... <laughs> I'll do this one. Okay. And I'll... I'll may switch a tile in your hand with one and an opponent. So okay. So take switch. one of take one of these two. I don't know. Uh, just random. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so I get the innkeeper. Okay. Yeah. Yay me. <laughs> so the two compares against the one, and that flips over, right? Okay. Sure. Okay. Um. I'm going to. Yeah, this innkeeper is kind of useless. I will... Now here's a question. Is this changeling, did he, does he still have the same uh, numbers as the, pro as the previous tile? This tile's numbers become the same as one adjacent tile. Um, I think so. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Shoot. But it's good for you because... But you... I don't remember. Well, no, I think it's the current adjacent. Oh, really? I think, yeah. So when, I guess whenever you're attacking or defending, you choose an adjacent tile and the numbers become that. Okay. It, it can change. It wouldn't be, it would be weird for a changeling to never yeah, be able to change shape beyond true. its original form. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Okay. So, um, let's do... Let's see... So I guess I'll put that there. Uh, adjacent tiles lose their abilities, um, which doesn't really matter. Four compared to two beats that. Okay. Um. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Let's do this instead, because I know what you have. So, actually, <laughs> let's do this instead. Let's do that here. Adjacent mm -hmm. tiles lose their abilities. Three is greater than two. So I'm going to flip this instead. Nice. Because I know you took my archer, and I don't want to give you a, a, a way to use him. Well, yeah, okay. I know his power is shooting up. You can still shoot to the left, I guess. But I don't know if it's going to be powerful enough to knock out this, this, or this. I don't know. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I guess... Jeez, I don't even know. 
Um. No rush, but 25 minutes, Sorry. which equates to 10, 5 minutes. <laughs> Um, so that's your, so you've got that can never be flipped card. I guess. Uh-huh. Um, so you're going to put that there? Yeah. All right. I'm going to, out of everything, this can't be flipped, so I'm going to put this up here. Now, may move one adjacent tile to an adjacent space. Not going to happen. But three is greater than something. But it's you've got six, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, oh, uh, it's blocked. So and then you have to put your last one there. Three is greater than two. Uh, compare numbers exactly two spaces away, which is here and here. So your three beats my two. This gets flipped over. Okay. All right. So that is the end of the game. Um, we're going to compare each row. Um, I've got. Where's the directions? Oh. I need the guide. It's tough. Okay, so I've got four in this direction, which is four points. Nice. Um, you have one, so it's zero. Mm -hmm. This is two, that's two, so that's one point apiece. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got four, so you get four points and I get zero. Mm -hmm. Here is uh, two points for me and one for you. Here is, wow, that's awesome. Uh, four points again for you, zero for me. Going down. Again, four points for you. You got this in the bag. No. This one is four points for me and none for you. This one is three for you, two for me. This one is... I thought the two tiles was one point. Uh, uh, so wait, this is... The, so it's, yeah, it should be two, one. Two, mm -hmm. one. Two for you, one for me. Yeah. Um, here is uh, two points for me and none for you and this one it, it yeah you got this you got so many fours it's ridiculous so um yeah you i'll count them up but you won uh eight nine eleven fifteen sixteen eighteen for me and you got uh three five six ten eleven fifteen nineteen twenty one twenty five so you blew me out of the water mm -hmm. Okay, so we had one minute of battery left, so I decided to plug this into the computer here. So, what did you think of Cell Swords? I liked it. It was okay. It was okay? Yeah. Would you play it again? I would. You I would. would. Because um, you beat me or because you enjoyed the game? Play? I enjoyed the game. I would have scored it a little, I don't know, I would have maybe tried like experimenting. Like, um, instead of just scoring all the colors, um, I would have done it so that it actually scored with adjacency okay. colors, adjacent colors, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to score, my, it doesn't matter. Um, I had that merchant, that end game merchant card. I was, I would get two points from that, but it was it. That's good. It still, it wouldn't have been enough to beat you, but yeah, I, I missed, I miscounted on my score. I, I should have gotten two more points because the end of the, end of the round, the merchant gets plus one for every adjacent enemy tile. Oh, really? Yeah. That would have put you up to at least 18, 19. 22? 21 or something like that. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it still wouldn't have mattered. You still won. But, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it. Um, the, ch the biggest challenge is getting used to all the different card abilities. I like the idea of, you know, number comparisons. Like, I have a video game where you compare numbers. Like, it's the same idea, mm -hmm. but th they don't have abilities on them. These ones yeah. do. So this takes that video game to a whole new level. And I, I love the abilities. I like the fact that there's so many cards that we didn't use. Yeah. So every game is going to be different. Yeah. Um, I would play it again. It was, it, was, it was fun. It was challenging. It was, it was very thinky, very challenging. Um, I think, I think the, biggest, the biggest thing was the abilities. Like, I, that's the, the learning curve. I think out of everything there, the gameplay is easy, it's straightforward, the number comparing is straightforward, yeah. but there are a couple of abilities you're like, well, how does this work? Do I compare it now, later? Does this thing that moves compare it? You know, it's just, there's a couple of weird things going on that, yeah. um... I, I wish it was a little bit deeper in that, like, things would change. I kind of want to try that, that base, the starter base what uh, do you mean? thing that chains. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's that's so I I couldn't. That would be so chaotic. It would be. That would that would turn the game from a casual 
semi-casual strategy game to a chaotic, oh, you, you have to think eight moves ahead. I think it would make more sense, though, because it didn't make a lot of sense, like, if you flipped and then what? Like, what would happen? It felt really stuck sometimes. Really? But that's where you got abilities, like, I was moving stuff around left and right with my, yeah. I chose cards where I can move stuff around. Mm -hmm. Um, I probably didn't do that as well as I probably should have, but, um, still. You did pretty well. I guess. I mean, I haven't played... Chess Master. Well, you beat me. It just shows that you have never played this before. Luck. And, no. <laughs> and you beat me. You knew what you were doing. Total luck. You had a lot of fours. I, I think I let that go. Um, mm -hmm. I was trying to make fours of my own, but you, you... I think you had the center of the board there. I think that was... You blocked me though. Like you put like a blue right in the middle of my little three by three. Thing. Yeah, I was trying to do and something. And at first, I, I was like, okay, I have to score this. Like otherwise, I'm gonna get no points. Mm -hmm. But the scoring, it doesn't matter if the Jason tiles are the same color. It's just as long as you mm -hmm. have the colors in that row and column. That's what. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I don't know if I liked or didn't like. Mm -hmm. Understandable. <laughs> I would try it with a different scoring system just to see. If it would change anything. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if this game is available on Amazon or not. If it is, I'll put a link in the below description. Uh, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vincent Natalie. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.